Breast health is important for everyone, but it's especially important for women. And it's the second leading cause of death from cancer. It affects one in eight women and one in six women will be diagnosed with breast cancer during their lifetime. It is also the most commonly diagnosed cancer in women aged 50 or older. Breast cancer rates have been increasing for many years and they are expected to continue to rise over the next few decades. In this video, you'll learn about breast cancer and what you can do to protect yourself from it. We will also talk about some of the best foods to kill cancer cells and what cancer patients should not eat. Let's start it. There is no known cause for breast cancer, but it is believed that the risk increases with age, obesity, family history of the disease, and using hormone-based contraception, such as birth control pills and hormone replacement therapy. Let's talk about some types of breast cancer. Type 1. Angiosarcoma. Angiosarcoma is a rare type of cancer that forms in the lining of the blood vessels and lymph vessels. The lymph vessels are part of the immune system. The lymph vessels collect bacteria, viruses, and waste products from the body and dispose of them. Angiosarcoma signs and symptoms may vary based on where cancer occurs. Type 2. Ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS. Ductal carcinoma in situ is the presence of abnormal cells inside a milk duct in the breast. DCIS is considered the earliest form of breast cancer. DCIS is non-invasive, meaning it hasn't spread out of the milk duct and has a low risk of becoming invasive. It doesn't typically have any signs or symptoms. However, DCIS can sometimes cause signs such as a breast lump and bloody nipple discharge. Type 3. Inflammatory breast cancer. Inflammatory breast cancer is a rare type of breast cancer that develops rapidly, making the affected breast red, swollen, and tender. Inflammatory breast cancer occurs when cancer cells block the lymphatic vessels in the skin covering the breast, causing the characteristic red, swollen appearance of the breast. Type 4. Invasive lobular carcinoma. Invasive lobular carcinoma is a type of breast cancer that begins in the milk-producing glands lobules of the breast. Invasive cancer means the cancer cells have broken out the lobule where they began and have the potential to spread to the lymph nodes and other areas of the body. At its earliest stages, invasive lobular carcinoma may cause no signs and symptoms. As it grows larger, invasive lobular carcinoma may cause an area of thickening in the part of the breast, a new area of fullness or swelling in the breast, a change in the texture or appearance of the skin over the breast, such as dimpling or thickening, a newly inverted nipple. Type 5. Lobular carcinoma in situ, LCIS. Lobular carcinoma in situ is an uncommon condition in which abnormal cells form in the milk glands lobules in the breast. LCIS isn't cancer, but being diagnosed with LCIS indicates that you have an increased risk of developing breast cancer. LCIS usually doesn't show up on mammograms. The condition is most often discovered as a result of a breast biopsy done for another reason, such as a suspicious breast lump or an abnormal mammogram. Type 6. Paget's disease of the breast. Paget's Biaget's disease of the breast is a rare form of breast cancer. Paget's disease of the breast starts on the nipple and extends to the dark circle of skin areola around the nipple. Paget's disease of the breast isn't related to Paget's disease of the bone, a metabolic bone disease. Type 7. Recurrent breast cancer. Recurrent breast cancer is breast cancer that comes back after initial treatment. Although the initial treatment is aimed at eliminating all cancer cells, a few may have evaded treatment and survived. These undetected cancer cells multiply becoming recurrent breast cancer. Signs and symptoms of recurrent breast cancer vary depending on where cancer comes back. Altho, those seven types of cancer have some common symptoms, like a breast lump or thickening that feels different from the surrounding tissue, change in the size, shape, or appearance of a breast, changes to the skin over the breast, such as dimpling, a newly inverted nipple, they were peeling, scaling, crusting, or flaking the pigmented area of skin surrounding the nipple areola or breast skin, redness or pitting of the skin over your breast, like the skin of an orange. Cancer is a global problem, and it's one that needs to be addressed as early as possible in order to have the best chance of beating the disease. So it's better to take some steps to make changes in your daily life and reduce your risk of breast cancer.
Try to familiarize yourself with your breasts through a breast self-exam for breast awareness. Limit the amount of alcohol you drink to no more than one drink a day, if you choose to drink. Aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise on most days of the week. If your weight is healthy, work to maintain that weight. The Mediterranean diet focuses mostly on plant-based foods, such as fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts. People who follow the Mediterranean diet choose healthy fats, such as olive oil, over butter, and fish instead of red meat. After all of that, if you see any early symptoms of growing breast cancer, there are plenty of foods you can eat that have been proven to help either make dealing with the symptoms of cancer easier. Here are some foods that are good for cancer patients to eat. Oranges, guava, prunes, pears, mangoes, pumpkin, peas, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, fish, dried beans, soy food, whole bread, pasta, oats, and corn. These are just some of the foods that have been well documented and known to help fight cancer in the body. Proper dieting is very important for cancer patients because your body needs nutrients and calories to sustain your energy levels while fighting cancer. You also have to avoid eating particular foods as they can accelerate the growth of cancer cells in the body. Here are some of the foods you should avoid eating like a cancer patient. Processed meats, oily foods, salt, fried food, and sugar. So guys, tell me, do you exercise regularly and what foot do you like to include in your diet? Let us know in the comments. Stay healthy and stay with Health Conscious.